What up, good people? It's your boy. <clears throat> uh, man, I apologize for not really driving no content. <clears throat> uh, it's been a rough couple months. Uh, for those that y'all that don't know, if y'all follow me on my other channel, uh, my mom passed last month in August. Uh, so it's been it's been different. <clears throat> it's been difficult. So, uh, we're trying to get to find a new stage of normalcy or, you know what I'm saying, what the new normal look look, look like. <clears throat> uh, using her as my motivation, pushing forward, to continue doing the great things that I was doing before. You know what I'm saying? And, making her proud because <clears throat> I know that she's still she's still with me. You know what I'm saying? Might not be physically but in the spirit I know she's still with me. Uh so <clears throat> I was looking at so I was on my way home today from work on the bike. Uh bike is dirty man. I got caught Sunday in the rain. I definitely been riding a bike mode like just like I need to that therapy, man. That therapy. So, uh, <clears throat> I was on my way home from work today, and I felt like an un... Something ain't feel right. You know what I'm saying? So, I get home, and uh, I look under the back of the bike. Now, granted, I did buy this bike used. I didn't ever really look at maybe a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, however, um, I think it's time for a new <laughs> time. So I did a little bit of research just to make sure that, you know, Harley tires was like every other tire in the world <clears throat> that they had, you know, trademarks or not trade. Wear indicators, etc., etc. And from what I read, I mean, it's, I don't think it's probably like all the way, however, common right here, like it's very smooth. Um, I want to say that wear indicator is right here. So if you look right there, I want to say that that's the wear indicator. And that shit is damn near. <laughs> like that's just smooth across. <clears throat> smooth across, my boy. So it's time for a new tire. The date code on these is 820. So they was, I mean, they not, I mean, they three years old. So, you know, it's probably time for some new ones. Uh, these is American something. Let me look up in here so I can find out. But yeah, but yeah, that's that's our wear bar right there, and that's not that's not good. That's not good at all. So that's the time for new times. All right, so these are American elites. Okay, American elites. I believe it like a 16. <laughs> I was trying to find some more wear bars. I think that's it right there. Maybe right there. Let's see what we got right there. 
All right, so from what I can see, the arrow right here on the sidewall points to an area where there is indeed a wear indicator. And that shit is smoother than a baby's ass. Hey man, so shit, we just getting out of the clock. Uh, I caught around to a couple shots. Well, one shot. <laughs> I caught around to one shot to see if they could uh, get me in for my goddamn tire to be swapped out. Or if they had a tire. <clears throat> I feel like the rate <clears throat> to put it on, you know, wasn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Like to mount the tire. So to take the tire or take the wheel and stuff off my bike and then turn around. Yeah, so to take the wheel and tire off of my bike and then turn around and remount it. Then, yeah. I feel like not too bad. Uh, I think you said something about like if it was wheel bearings, um, it'd be a little extra if they were needed. Uh, if not, then uh, if like if they needed brake pads, then you know maybe maybe need a brake pad. But y'all know I got brake pads at the crib, so probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have them. Uh, put the other, have them put them other pads on there since they're gonna take it apart anyway. So. Um, what is that? What else is there? So yeah, the tire, the tire brand that he said he got is like a Metzler. I've seen it. I ain't never really heard of it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I know run them Michelins, uh, American Elites, <clears throat> you know, Dunlops, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Shinko, Shinko for the win. You know what I'm saying? Because that bitch is like 150, 160, 170. So less than $200 for the tire. Uh, and then going from there. So I ain't gonna lie, shit, I'm trying to get get some more riding in or whatever. Got this little ride for suicide veteran or soldier suicide veteran suicide <clears throat> ride 400 miles, man. So I would really like to have my bike, <clears throat> you know, tip top shape and all that shit for the first of the month, which will be Sunday. Tomorrow is uh, the last day of the month, so if I can drop my bike off today and get that bit back tomorrow so I can ride, then oh, tomorrow I have to work, then that'll work. That'll work. So, that's the plan. So, instead of probably instead of running all over town, man, trying to find a fucking tire. Uh, I'm gonna search the marketplace a little bit, see if I can't find something. Uh, so the tire do need to be new, and the date code can't be older than three years for them to put some shit on there. So it's like the options are limited on what we can really do with it. So gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, if I drop it out today, then there should kind of go from there. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get them get the mess the tire. Um, look at some reviews online, etc., 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 and kind of go from there. I know him. So, tie it back on in a minute.
All right, so we just pulled up on the scene, man. All mate, cycle repair out here in Compass Cove, Texas. We out here like that. Let's go see what we can make something do what it do, baby. All right, there you go. Like I said, I love my, I love my back rear, so, yeah, I'm not gonna take it off now, so. So, get some water, fucking take the bike up to the shop, and then, uh, yeah, probably take my garage door open off of there. I don't need to leave the keys to the kingdom just hanging on my bike, nigga. Especially if it ain't in my position, so. I don't just know it like that. Pray for me. All right, so here we are. We're leaving baby at the shop, going home. I swear, boy, these people don't know you know how to put the drive. My God. Either don't be knowing how to drive, don't be paying attention. Like, I'm just people watching, and people are, like, just watching, or watching to see what they do, or whatever like that, so. I ain't in no rush, though. It's all content to me. Bye-bye, Shotty Red, we'll see you tomorrow. shop is located man is right downtown in the heart of Copper's Cove <laughs> right next to the old timey theater and all that good stuff so we're gonna go through this light right here and go park in this parking lot There she is. There she go. All right, so we just got her home. Uh, so I guess I told them the wrong one for this one. Oh, uh, the tire that I had on there was actually 180, 65, 16. I don't know what they thought it was, what I told them it was. So we didn't go with the Metzler actually went with the Michelin. Uh, this is a, I think they said Commander 2. Something like that. Look how, look how deep. Look how deep this fucking burn out. This shit. Look how deep in the room. Ah. 
I'm talking about a new tire who this? State code 2422, boy. New tire who this? All right, so now we got it out the hot pavement. I can finish showing you it. The Michelin Commander. See, see what I mean? Commander Thieves, bro. Commander Thieves. So, I think in the future, so if I like this tire, which I haven't heard any bad things about this one, I probably just have me one on deck. Save up however much, have one on deck, and then that way it ain't as a fucking uppercut when it's time to get a fucking new tire put on. Uh, as far as the front, I mean the front, the front looks damn good. Like, no problem do I see. Let me see if it's see. Does it say where the wear marks is in the front? That was a rotation. But, as you can see, plenty, plenty, good to go there. But by the time it's time to change that front wheel, damn, or when it's time to change that front wheel, we just gonna go ahead and get a fucking 21 wheel and tire. So, we ain't worried about that. All right, I'm gone.